I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what you're thinking. Um, I've been gone for a long time, and so has Jay Hoss, and I thought it'd be good to kind of talk about this new album, Baby. Um, beautiful and brutal yard. Jay Hoss has been gone for three years. You know, great previous album, Big Conspiracy. I was told the album was originally meant to be called Born About You, and given the context with some of the things on the songs, it makes a lot more sense for it to have been called that. Now, the album... It isn't bad, but it's not necessarily great either. A large majority of the tracks are just okay. And that's the problem. Hoss has been away for three years and and this is the kind of finished product that we get. Um, And some of you may think that's a diss and genuinely it's not. You know, for someone of Hoss's talent level, um, an album like this after such a prolonged hiatus isn't really what I expected. I expected a lot more. Um, whether that's unfair cool but for someone of Hoss's talent level I don't think anyone can sit here and tell me that this is 100% what they wanted like I I don't think anyone would say that like I said it's good in parts you know Massacre it's crazy my baby um, are standouts for me but the album's really frustrating because the rest of the tracks feel like they don't actually go anywhere um, the reason why it's more frustrating is because these tracks aren't bad. Like, they're not bad enough to critique. They just aren't good enough to be excited over. Like, it's it's a it's a really funny parallel. Like, yeah. A tune, for example, like, Nice Body with Georgia Smith. This song, I feel like, is good. I just don't feel like it's, like, for... It doesn't fit well in this album. And I don't feel like it's... It's, it's bad either for me to be like, oh, they shouldn't collab together because it's a good sounding track. It just doesn't do anything for me. And this is the problem with a large majority of the tracks. Um, Once again, I just feel like Huss on this seems to have more of a grip on his music than ever. Um, I feel like he's figured it out. But then again, it's also annoying because once again, it, nothing leads us anywhere. Like... I genuinely think at this point in his career, Huss is incapable of making a bad song. Like, I don't think he will he will make a bad, like, he'll purposefully put out a bad song. I just don't think these tracks on this album are great. There's some great ideas sprinkled over all over on this album. It's Crazy, for one, was hated by everyone. But I genuinely think it's Head & Shoulders the best song on this album. Like when it comes to song structure and lyricism and feel between Huss and the listener. Although when it first dropped, it got a lot of backlash for the opening lyric because of the because of the demonic content. I think it's the realest track on here because Huss is talking about either a lived experience or doing this persona or this character, if you will. Who knows? Um, but it's it's giving a feeling and. The tracks that kind of stand out to me on here all give some type of feel. So My Baby, another one. Like, that song is so beautifully written, beautifully kind of like sung and, you know, just told. The storytelling within it is amazing. Like, it's everything that I'd I'd want, like, a kind of love song from J-Hoss to be about. But once again... There's other songs like Alien Girl, which I just don't really feel like I'm not really in. I'm not really. I'm, I'm like I'm not really into it. One of the things I, I feel like this album suffers with is fatigue, um, and I mean fati- fatigue in. We've been getting snippets from J Huss since like lockdown. The first snippet of that CB song, when I heard it, it sounded incredible. In a CDQ, it didn't really hit the same. I don't know if that was just me. It's ju- That's why I think it's going to sound way better live. But it just wasn't... There was something missing, and I feel like that's the issue. A lot of these tracks that he previewed or, you know, were given to us... Er- like, not even given to us early. A lot of the tracks that he previewed or, you know, he's, he spat a couple of verses on, like, Instagram Live or whatever. A lot of them don't sound as good good or maybe it's just because we've heard them or i've heard them i'm just like yeah it's cool but 
Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's a, that's another problem. When artists are so free in giving, you know, wanting to give their fans everything and, you know, wanting to 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 show their fans what they're working on, which is great. But I feel like there can be a, a time where you kind of like overexpose yourself. And I feel like that's what ha- that's what's happened within this project um, with some of the songs. Um, so yeah, a, another one of these problems is like a large majority of the tracks are trying to do the same thing. Um, and I feel like that's always going to happen when you have so many tracks on an album. For me, if I was to make an album, it would be no more than 14 tracks. No more. When you have, when you get into the regions like your 16s, your 19s, or your tw- or your early 20s or your late 20s, and um, for some people, I feel like some of the subject matter can cross over, and I do feel like some of the subject matter it within this tape does cross over a lot. Um, although they sound very different, who told you a masculine give you the same thing? <laughs> like they give you the same thing. They're both meant to be the summer smashes and cool, great. I'm not saying you can't have two on the album. I just feel like it's like in the same place. I, I, I don't feel like it's it's tried to do anything different. Like it's the same formula, just with two different artists. That's my problem with with those two tracks. I did like Who Told You. Yes, like everyone else, I thought Drake's verse was, was very, very long. But I did like it in the main. Um, I do like masculine in the main. I do think it's okay. I just, once again, I feel like the subject matter crosses over and we've already got who told you. So did we really need it? Like, did we really need it? Like, what's to say th- that song couldn't have waited, let's say, I don't know, another two months, like, or like, I don't know, like an end of, like an end of summer kind of banger, like, like j Hoss just drops it. Like, you know, when they, like, like artists, like, bring out the album and then they drop, like, one or two tracks after. Like, what's to say j Hus couldn't have dropped with that after? I think this album is going to sound amazing live. I feel like... It, I feel like it's going to be a much more enjoyable listening experience when you're with people rather than when you're on your own just listening in your, in your headphones or however you're listening on speakers or whatever. I feel like live, this album with kind of, like, a whole you know, arrangement, strings and X, Y, I feel like it will be a lot better. There's great ideas on here. How I would have done it, um, the album would have been 12 tracks long, 14 tracks long. And the the structure of the album would have been kind of similar to what the album art gives. So it would have been like a light side of the album and a dark side of the album. I would have gave a narrative of... Huss essentially fighting his demons and trying to break free of that the old life or this character's old life. So within that first light si- section of the album, you've got the love songs or the more lighthearted songs like Militarian, My Baby, Who Told You, Freshwater, um, or Safakara. Um, you know, you've got those songs. And, and then on the darker side, you've got, the more grittier, hard-hitting tracks like A Massacre, A Cream, It's Crazy, and Killy. What I will say is, I'm not saying those, it's just those tracks, cool, 12 to 14 tracks, fill it out how you want, but those are the, those are like the, the ones that we're gonna, we're gonna stick with. And how I would have positioned the album from the start, I thought it was cool that someone, I don't know who it was, was talking over the album, saying, yo, what happened to, like, he, he said, he, he said, you know, show me you are, show me the goat. Um, you know, he also said in another another snippet, like, oh, you know, what happened to, you can't eat pum pum and then drama. Is it? Like, I liked all of that. I think you keep that. I think what you do is you have this person talking and like, you know, it's like Huss is enjoying the fruits of his labour. So it's the richer tracks like A Militarium in Naira Mali. Um, and while these tracks are going, Huss keeps getting called. Like you keep on hearing this like call and Huss is like kissing his teeth or whatever, but he keeps blanking the call. So then when Huss is de- denying all these calls, denying all these calls, for whatever reason, and it's said in a track, he caves and he answers the phone call. And that's when you hear the the start of it's crazy, and then it's it's the guy or the the I think it, like people have said it's the devil or whatever, 
it's the devil saying to him, oh, what's happened? Like, you're not my boy anymore. Like, where have you been? Like, Susie's telling me you're doing X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. He was like, but you know, I've got you, yeah? And then you hear the devil in me, demon in me, and that makes a lot more sense within that album because it's like he's back and he's activated and he's back into this kind of darker space. I understand for some people it's very uncomfortable. I feel like a lot of people are overdoing it personally. Um, but it would make a lot more sense thematically if that was the way that it went on. And look like he's tried to do this, you know, this lavish lifestyle with the military, with the militarians and, um, you know, all this kind of stuff. But it just hasn't worked. So he reverts back to his old ways and this is why I think if it was be if it was called Born a Bad You, it would make a lot more sense. But I digress. I just think that would have made for a much more solid album. Like I said, fill it out how you want. But I feel like if the basis of it was us trying to, you know, start this new life or be in this new life and be focused on this new life, but he keeps on getting these distractions and then he caves and then you hear a song like um, it's crazy. You hear a song like Massacre. You hear a song like Cream. It's going to resonate more and there's a story actually being told rather than them just being scattered all over the album. Um, with all that being said, look, I think that Hoss is great. I would never ever say he's a bad artist. I think he's, um, I think he's amazing. I just think this fell short whether that's because of the high expectations i set for him on this album um we'll come to find out but i do i do genuinely think um this is nowhere near a big conspiracy for me and it's nowhere near a common sense and i have my opinions on common sense already um i think it's good like i enjoyed it like everyone else did but i think test the time wise i think big conspiracy is a lot better but I just don't think this album is there. For me, I think this is good. It's not great. It's good. Will I be playing it? Will I be vibing to it all summer? Yes, I'm not going to lie. But, like, is it going to be in rotation for longer than, let's say, six months? I don't think so. Like, I, I really don't think so. Um, so, yeah. I, I, if I had to give it a score out of 10... I want to say a six. I, I, I want to say like a, a light 6.5 to a six. Um, and that's me being, me being like reasonable. j Huss is the truth, man. But like, th like sometimes you look, you go to work sometimes and you, 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 you're not going to score in every, every, every final. Do you know what I mean? You're not, you're not gonna, you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna win every single game. You're not. And this is just a game that I think hasn't been won. And that's, that's that's completely and that is okay like uh, like once again i'm not saying it's terrible but it's just not as great as what i think everyone else is putting it on like everyone's putting it on a pedestal and i don't think it's that good um but yeah that's been it from me uh sorry i've been away guys i am trying to bring back this youtube channel eventually um i do really enjoy making these videos these types of videos now um but yeah we'll see we'll see so if you don't hear from me um i'm on instagram cj edwards on everything cj edwards x on everything um and yeah man shout out to j huss shout out to all the black butter hopefully we get another album soon um and yeah man hopefully you know like things are just done a bit better that's for, for me but yeah that's it I'm out. Say peace.